Hello! In today's video we're going to be comparing the load times between a SATA SSD, an HDD, and a micro SD card. I'm going to be using Civ 5 to compare them as it usually has a noticeable difference between a hard drive and SSD when loading. This comparison is to show how long load times off of a micro SD card on the Steam Deck may look. I will be comparing the actual boot time from when the loading screen appears and when it finishes. After that, we will be timing it from when you push play game to when, you, when it finishes the loading into the match itself. Afterwards, I will be going over the results and stating my opinion of them. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm just gonna butt in here real fast and it is worth mentioning that the hardware I am running is faster than what the Steam Deck's gonna have. My computer has a Core i9 in it, 9700K, so just keep that in mind. The load times will vary on the Steam Deck and when I get one on hand, I will be posting a video doing a speed comparison then. So just keep an eye out for that. So those results, I think, were to be expected. Of course, the SD card is going to take a little bit longer to boot the game over the hard drive and the SSD. But let's go ahead and take a look at the load time from when you actually push the play game button. The blessings of the gods be upon you, Caesar Augustus, Emperor of Rome, and all her holdings. Your empire was the greatest and longest lived of all in Western civilization, and your people single-handedly have shaped its culture, law, art, and warfare like none other before or since. Through years. Let's look at the results. The SSD took the lead in both booting and loading a match, taking just over 26 seconds to boot and about 15 and a half seconds to load a match, totaling near 42 seconds. The hard drive took second with about 59 seconds total, taking over 36 seconds to boot and near 23 seconds to load the match. And finally, the SD card took the longest with 72 seconds total, taking nearly 51 seconds to boot and just over 21 seconds to load the match. Now, I don't really find it surprising they had the SD card took the longest. However, when comparing it to the hard drive, you're not really seeing too much of a performance increase, at least from my perspective. I don't think, um, what was that, about 13 seconds of a difference isn't too much. But when comparing it to the SSD card, a 30 second difference, now that's half a minute. And with larger games, that could be a minute to load. So my opinion is, is I'm getting the 256 gig and you might want to as well, if not go for the 512, unless you have some more technical experience and are comfortable opening up the Steam Deck, I think that would be the best option for you. Um, just because you're going to want to put your AAA titles or your newer games on the internal where the SSD is, just to have that faster boot time because newer titles are going to take longer to load and to boot than SIP. You know, they're larger titles, so just keep that in mind. I do think the SD card is going to be playable, uh, but if you're looking to save some time in your life, uh, the NVMe is probably the way to go. Well, is the way to go. So Overall, though, I, do, I think it's doable if you're looking to save some money to just get the 64 gig. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Of course, uh, choose whichever device you'd like to. And before I end this video here, if you'd like to see more videos, maybe similar to this in the future, depending on how things work out and if there's other devices I get excited about and want to learn more about. Um, 
So go ahead and leave a comment of your opinion or share your thoughts. And if you want to see in the future my unboxing and playing on the actual Steam Deck, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You guys have a good rest of your day.